Hello students, myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs and this is the video for January 8, 2021. So let's begin this video. But before that, do subscribe and hit this bell notification and also you can join this telegram group where we share free quizzes as well as resolve your queries. Now here we are on our first question. So the first question is which state has launched Kisan Kalyan Mission initiative to double the income of farmers? So, which state has launched it? We will be discussing that first and then we will be unraveling the uh, mission in itself. Okay. So, which state has launched it? Is it Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Uttar Pradesh or Karnataka? So, the right answer is option D. It's Uttar Pradesh that has launched this Kisan Kalyan mission. Now, as the name itself is suggesting that it is for the welfare of farmers how this mission aims to uh, give the uh, benefit to farmers basically this uh, mission aims to double the income of farmers by spreading the information about the government schemes that are there for the welfare of farmers as well as under this mission awareness will be created about the scientific methods through which farming can be done so basically to uh, uh, through scientific methods and through spreading the knowledge of uh, the government schemes, the welfare of farmers will be ensured under this uh, Kisan Kalyan mission of Uttar Pradesh government. Apart from this, there are not uh, many facts related to this mission, only this much is required from you to remember. So guys, do remember this thing and since the SEBI examination is just around the corner, so do not ignore the static facts related to the news. So what are the static facts here? The CM and the Governor of Uttar Pradesh and I have already asked this question from you earlier and I hope that you remember that who is the CM and who is the Governor of Uttar Pradesh. So on that note, I am moving on to the next question which is also about a state. So let's read out the question first. With which multilateral financing agency has Government of India and West Bengal Government signed a loan agreement of 105 million USD to improve the inland water transport, uh, transport infrastructure on Hooghly River? So basically, the purpose of this loan agreement is there in the question itself. That is to improve the inland water transport infrastructure on Hooghly River. Guys, do remember the name of this river because it can also be asked in the examination okay so in order to improve this uh, transportation inland transportation and logistics on this hooghly river this uh, agreement has been signed by the government of india west bengal west bengal state government and a multilateral agency so which one it is is it adb that is asian development bank world bank european central bank usaid that is us agency for international development or international monetary fund so which one is it it is world bank so world bank with world bank this loan agreement has been signed and world bank's president is david malpas now where is the headquarters of world bank this is my question for you guys you should mention it in the comment section below along with the member countries of world bank so this is your homework for the day now the next question is, Trifed has signed an MOU with Akhil Bharatiya Vishwa Vanvasi Kalyan Ashram for setting up of Trifood Parks in five districts of which state? So basically, an MOU has been signed between these two organizations and uh, as part of that MOU, Trifood Parks will be set up in five districts of a state. So which state it is? It is Madhya Pradesh. Now there is a link between the state and this organization. So this organization is located in Madhya Pradesh itself. And in order to uh, help the tribal people of the Madhya Pradesh state, this MOU has been signed between these two organizations. Now guys, through the Trifood Pass, tribal products will be promoted and value addition will be done to the tribal products. So that is the basic purpose of setting up tribal parks at different locations. And do remember this thing that this Akhil Bharatiya Vanvasi, Vanvasi is uh, tribal people or the forest dwellers. So this organization is there only for helping the tribal 
people in improving the uh, livelihood or the standard of living of tribal people this organization works so that is all for this question and now we are moving on to the next question but before that i would like to ask you a question so guys do you know who is the chair of trifed if you know then do mention it in the comment section below so now we are on our next question so where is india's first of its kind coalition for epidemic preparedness you know uh, innovations centralized network labs for covid-19 vaccine testing established so basically let me tell you the background of this news so this cepi coalition for epidemic uh, preparedness innovations is an organization that is located in oslo norway so this is a static fact that you should remember from the exam point of view so cepi uh, is an organization that has been set up by various governments of uh, various countries and what is the purpose of setting up cepi uh, the purpose is to create uh, the uh, create ease in the health uh, in the health sector of the world or we can say strengthen the health sector of the world as well as the development of vaccine so basically to strengthen the vaccine development industry of the world so that epidemics can be uh, can be epidemics can be fought so this cepi has been established and it is located in oslo norway now this cepi has cepi organization has created a centralized network of labs and that those labs will test the vaccines for covid 19 so that is the single purpose of the labs centralized network of labs that are that has been created by cepi now a total number of 7 labs from across the world from all around the world have been selected for this network and from india there is only one lab that has been selected and that lab is this translational translational health science and technology institute faridabad do remember this thing that it is located in faridabad and it is affiliated with department of biotechnology under ministry of science and technology so do remember this thing that this institute is a part of this centralized network and there are a total number of 7 labs which are from different countries like canada uk us italy netherlands india and bangladesh so these are the countries from where these seven labs have been picked up and from india this lab has been picked up so that's all for this question and now we are on our next question so this next question is which company has partnered with sidbi to promote to provide affordable financing to msme in the rooftop solar segment basically an agreement has been signed or we can say a partnership has been concluded between a company and sidbi to provide affordable financing to the msmes the msmes who are looking for setting up rooftop solar panels and th those msmes who need uh, financing for setting up rooftop solar panels the financing will be ensured through this agreement through this partnership so basically in order to facilitate that financing this partnership has been uh, concluded between sidbi and the company is tata power so to remember this thing and it is a very basic question from the uh, national news section of your spotlight magazine now i would like to ask you a question and that question is the location of sidbi where is this sidbi located it is a really uh, important bank organization in our country therefore you should be aware of the location of this organization so do mention it in the comment section below now guys the question that i am going to discuss in this uh, slide is a really very important question even if you are a student of nabard rbi or sebi and the people who are listening to me though the people who are the aspirants of sebi examination this year then they should listen to me very carefully because this is a really important question so now let's discuss what this question is 
who heads the advisory committee formed by RBI for managing the payments infrastructure development fund scheme. So basically, there is a scheme. So this scheme is payment infrastructure development uh, fund. This fund is there for developing the payment infrastructure, digital payment infrastructure and in order to manage this fund, a committee has been formed by the Reserve Bank of India. So who heads this committee? It is the Deputy Governor of RBI. So guys, can you uh, locate that who among the following is the Deputy Governor of RBI? So let me clarify this thing to you that all the options mentioned here are the deputy governors of RBI and the head that is there for this committee is BP Karango. So he is the person that is heading this committee that is there for managing this fund. Now what is this fund? What, is, uh, what are the features of this, this fund? Let's discuss that in this slide. So first of all, what is the purpose? <coughs> Sorry. The purpose is to encourage banks and non-banks for deployment of uh, more digital payment infrastructure across tier 3 to tier 6 cities with a special focus on northeastern states. So basically the states, the remote or rural areas or the cities which are deprived of uh, digital payment infrastructure in order to develop the digital payment infrastructure there this fund has been launched and what is the purpose and, or we can say what is the target under this uh, fund the target is to establish 10 la 30 lakh touch points out of which 10 lakh would be physical uh, touch points like physical point of sale machines and 20 lakh will be digital payment acceptance devices like the uh, debit cards or credit cards so these are the this is the target under this fund now the second point is of major importance the corpus so the corpus is, is uh, 345 crore out of which 250 crore will be contributed by rbi and 95 crore will be given by authorized card networks that are operating in india so guys can you name some of the uh, card networks that are presently operating in india do mention it in the comment section below the committee we have discussed it and tenure <coughs> three years tenure from Jan 1st january 2021 so this fund scheme will be applicable for three years from january 1st 2021 and if the targets are achieved under this fund then this scheme can be extended for two more years so that's all for this question i hope that this fund is clear to you and it is really important so do Pair, uh, do memorize the facts that I have told you and if you have any kind of issue in understanding the things related to that scheme then do feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Now we are on our next question. So who has become the first Deputy General Secret Secretary of All India Football Federation? So basically it is for the first time or we can say that this all india football federation has created a new post in its hierarchy and that post is this that deputy general secretary who is the person that has been appointed as the first deputy general secretary of this organization it is a footballer and the person here is abhishek yadav so do remember this uh, thing that abhishek yadav is the first ever deputy general secretary of this organization who is the president of this organization so it is Praful Patel he is the person that is uh, presently chairing or heading this organization now guys we are talking about football the football organization then we should also know that who is the captain of our Indian football team so this is your task do find it out and tell me in the comment section below that who is the captain of Indian football team And now this session ends. I hope that you have really liked it. And if you have, then do spread the knowledge. Do like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching the video.